<clears throat> I just wanted to pop on today to show you something fun we just got in new at the um, gallery. We got these fun little pinwheels, which I love. Um, they remind me of the ones you played with when you were a kid. If you were me, you stuck them in your grandma's garden and they stayed there all summer long until they deteriorated to nothing. These are made by an artist out of California, Geraldine Crute Sackman. She is um, interesting. She is a graduate of the Art Center College of Design. She worked as a graphic designer, as an illustrator, as a fine artist. And the first ones she made of these were paper just for fun. But people wanted them to last longer so she could put them into gardens and they could put them outside. So she found... Um, these are actually a polyester paper. So they're printed on a polyester paper to be able to go outside. Um, the um, images on them are really interesting. She walks around and takes photographs of real flowers and then goes back to her studio and works with those, flower, those images digitally and blows them up. And so they're actually prints of real flower petals onto them then they're made out of this polyester paper you can't really tear it you could cut it with scissors so don't do that um, but they can withstand wind and rain and be outside I mean if there's a hurricane coming and you're in Florida take it inside or anywhere else where you're gonna get a hurricane I'm not sure how they'd hold up with um, ice and snow that's a little iffy I don't imagine they'd hurt them, but I also don't think being buried in snow would be good for them. But, you know, if you live somewhere where you get a lot of snow, you're used to taking your outdoor stuff out. They don't have to be for outdoors. They can just be a toy for kids. They come in three different sizes. This is the smallest size, and these have a blunt end. Um, they were available with a spike, but I kind of felt like the smaller ones might be fun for kids, and I didn't want to have a spike on the end of them. But you could easily stick this into the ground. And the slightest breeze will make it spin. I mean, just me blowing on it makes it spin really nicely. This one is an orchid. Um, the next size is larger and it has a bigger stake. And it is a double pinwheel. So I don't know if I can get them both to blow with blowing on it. But a little bit of the front one. Okay, it's gonna be a video of me just blowing on stuff, but they'll spin in separate directions. Like this is a passion flower, which I'm sure she sees in California where she, the artist lives, but we have them here in um, Florida too. And I thought this one was so pretty. There's several different styles in the double. The doubles have a longer stake and they do have a spike at the bottom. So I would say this is not one for the kids to play with. This is probably more like I wanna stick it out in my garden or flower pot and let it spin. Um, you know, some kids, don't trust them. <laughs> but I just think, like I said, slightest breeze makes them spin. They're just fun. Um, they're interesting, they can smoosh down so we can ship them and they aren't hurt by doing that. Um, so I can ship them to you. All of these are up on our website. There's also, um, these are the um, Pura Wet ones. So like, this is a canna lily. And so, you know, it would spin like, if it's outside, it's going to spin like that, which I thought was really pretty. Again, this one does have the spike on the bottom. Um, you know, if you've, if you've got, if you're going to give it to a kid as a toy, I might take a pair of something like, um, even like wire cutters or pliers and cut the spike off. Um, because, you know, you don't need to give a kid a weapon to stab somebody with. <laughs> But um, I thought this was pretty. We even brought in, in the smaller size, just I thought for the holidays we brought in a few um, poinsettia. So, <laughs> this is such a weird video of me just sitting here blowing on things. But um, like I said, they are um, water and wind resistant. They are um, great to be outside, inside. Um, you can put them out in your rain. They, I mean, eventually they're probably going to fade, but they're going to last a few years. Um, and they're a lot of fun and they vary in price 
from about 22 to 45, depending on how intricate they are. The small little ones are 22. Um, so they're all different prices, but they're fun. And I thought they'd be fun and different for the holidays. I could see these sticking out of the top of somebody's stocking. Santa, if you're listening, that would be really fun in a stocking. Um, but they'd also be pretty tied on top of a present or just with a poof of tissue and a bow, like a bit giant lollipop as a present. Um, and I think for a lot of people, they'll invoke sort of childhood memories of them. I remember having them and loving them. Um, so like I said, they can go outdoors, indoors, play with them. They are um, wind and rain resistant. And like I said, so this is, these two are an example of the smaller si single size. Um, this is just an example of the double size that will spin in two different directions. We have several more of those. And then in of the pirouette, we only have the one style. But um, I just thought the colors were so pretty on that one. So take a look, pop over to the website. It's www.randomaxart.com. Uh, easiest way to see them is probably just to head to the What's New section because they'll be on the, right now they'll be on the first page of that. But if you are looking at this video later, um, pop pinwheel into the search engine and all of them should come up. So have a great day. We um, hope you'll check them out. Come see us at the gallery or head over to the website to see what else is new. Bye.